At seven, an Atlanta activist will be on the ballot in November's presidential election. Chase Oliver is, is his name. He was just tapped as the Libertarian candidate for president. Oliver from Snellville most recently ran and lost in the race for U.S. Senate. Atlanta News First reporter Patrick Quinn joins him on the campaign trail. Today I spoke one on one with Libertarian presidential candidate Chase Oliver, who of course is from here in Metro Atlanta. And while political experts say the odds of him having any real impact on the presidential race are very low, the message from Oliver today to Georgian voters, give him a chance. Kick the tires, compare me to the other candidates. I'm half the age of most of my opponents. 38 year old Chase Oliver, quick to highlight the age gap between himself and the other presidential hopefuls. The Atlanta activist spoke to me virtually as he's now on the campaign trail in DC after being tabbed the libertarian candidate for president. I don't see Joe Biden or Donald Trump getting out to 50 states. They're only, re they're only relying on a few swing states because I don't think they have the energy to campaign like I do, frankly. Political experts like Andre Gillespie at Emory told me while Oliver may be high energy, his chances of playing any real role in the presidential race are quite low. I don't expect that the libertarian candidate is going to be a big player in this election. I expect that other uh, uh, third party candidates are probably going to get more attention and will probably get more votes than Chase Oliver will. Over the weekend, former President Donald Trump <laughs> booed while at the libertarian conference trying to garner support. He said libertarian candidates are not interested in winning, simply satisfied with grabbing 3% of the vote. Are you just after the 3%? Absolutely not. I'm about waking up new voters. In 2022, Oliver, as a libertarian candidate, earned 2% of the vote when running here for U.S. Senate in Georgia. His presence helped force a runoff between Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker, a race Warnock inevitably won. Gillespie doubted Oliver will be a thorn in this presidential race. No, I don't think that Chase Oliver has that type of leverage. Oliver said his goals go beyond winning the White House, namely expanding the Libertarian Party. This isn't a one and done election. This is about building ourselves up so we can tear the abuses of the government down. Oliver told me he's already qualified to be on the Georgia ballot come November. And as of right now, they're going to be on the ballot in 37 states. He'd like to be on the ballot in all 50. In Midtown Atlanta, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First.